This article contains spoilers for The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power Episode 6. The Stranger's Magic and The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power may finally be making sense. Amazon's latest fantasy TV series may technically be a prequel to The Lord of the Rings, but it contains a surprising number of unexpected plot twists and apparently original characters. One of the most curious is The Stranger, the only character seen to be wielding actual magic in the show so far. Tolkien's world may have been one of magic and wizardry, as seen with powerful wizards like Gandalf, but he never actually came to define the basic rules of magic. This was actually something Tolkien regretted, as he later wrote in one letter, I am afraid I have been far too casual about magic, and especially the use of the word. In truth, he was writing at a time before it became fashionable to establish rigid systems of magic and sorcery, so it's not particularly surprising it never occurred to him to formalize just how his magic should work. Still, he tended to divide magic into two categories, major and Godia, with the latter most closely resembling necromancy. In Tolkien lore, wizards like Gandalf are actually akin to angels, mystical beings called Mayor, who were sent from Valinor to help in the war against evil. It's surely no coincidence, then, that the stranger also dubbed the Meteor Man, arrived in Middle-earth as the veil to Valinor parted for a band of elves, this has led to speculation he could actually be Gandalf, given Tolkien hinted that most celebrated of wizards had visited Middle-earth before the Third Age of the Lord of the Rings. It's still too soon to say whether that is true, but interestingly certain patterns in the stranger's sorcery are becoming notable, and they may well hint at his true nature. All the stranger's powers in the rings of power as powerful as he may be, the stranger has only used his powers a handful of times. He demonstrated telekinesis and energy manipulation in The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power Episode 2, whipping up a strange magical energy storm immediately after his impact. Later in the same episode, the stranger stepped towards the Harfoot Nori threateningly, and the trees themselves seemed to bow in response to his rage. She was able to placate him, though, and later he performed strange magic with fireflies controlling them, making them fly into the air in the shape of mysterious star constellations. Nori and her friend Poppy were shaken when they realized the act killed the fireflies. It wasn't until The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power Episode 5 that the stranger next showed off his magic. He joined the Harfoots on a trek through the dead marshes and rescued three of them from wargs by unleashing a radial blast with his arm. This left him badly injured, however, with his arm left blackened as though dying, he was only able to restore it using a remarkable healing spell, one that involved plunging his arm into a pool of water. The water froze as the spell continued, and poor Nori almost got caught up in it as well, when she unwisely touched his skin and found the ice advancing over her own body as well. This seems to have been a moment of realization for Nori, as she at last acknowledged the stranger's magic could be dangerous. The stranger's magic involves a transfer of energy looking closely at these examples, it's possible to note a pattern, they all seem to involve a transfer of energy. The stranger arrived in Middle-earth in spectacular fashion, explaining why viewers have taken to calling him Meteor Man. He seems as frail as any human being, and yet he did not burn up as he rocketed through the skies, and he was uninjured from an impact that left a deep crater in the ground. Even more curiously, Nori noted the flames surrounding the stranger did not burn with heat. The likely explanation is that the stranger somehow absorbed the energy surrounding him, allowing him to survive this ordeal, it was presumably too much for him, and he then released it, explaining why the initial displays of power were so marked. This same logic would explain the fireflies in The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power Episode 2, because the magic he used to control the fireflies could have been unwittingly drawn from their own life energy, explaining why they died as a result. 
Three episodes later, the stranger turned his own arm black when he drew on his own life energy to drive back the wargs. Presumably, he then used the heat of the pool to heal himself, explaining why it froze over even as his body healed, Nori almost got caught up in that particular spell when she unwisely touched him. So far, all the evidence suggests that the stranger's magic clearly major by Tolkien's classification involves a transfer of energy from one form to another. Is the stranger's magic evil? The Lord of the Rings? The Rings of Power Episode 1 already hinted that Maja has this property. Galadriel's pursuit of Sauron led her to the Northlands, where she discovered what now seems to have been the place where Adar believed Head killed Sauron. There, she noted that the flames did not burn hot, apparently a characteristic of places touched with the very darkest magic. Some viewers rightly pointed to the parallel between these flames and the ones that surrounded the so-called Meteor Man and his crater, which were likewise cool to Nora's touch. But it is quite possible that Galadriel was unwittingly demonstrating her ignorance. According to Tolkien, Sauron was himself one of the mayor the mightiest of them, the one who fell to darkness. Other mayor are not believed to have been sent to Middle-earth during the First Age, meaning he is probably the only one of his kind Galadriel has ever encountered. What's more, there is no evidence the elves of the Rings of Power possess notable magia. What Galadriel considers dark magic could, therefore, simply be a characteristic feature of magia in this version of Tolkien's world, that magia draws energy from one form to another, meaning flames do not burn hot in its presence, for their energy is being converted to some other purpose. If this is true, then some magic was still being worked in the Northlands, and Galadriel did not realize it, simply because she didn't understand the power well enough. This interpretation of magic strongly supports the theory the stranger is one of the mayor and probably Gandalf himself. Tolkien's notes suggest the experience of being sent to Middle-earth leaves a mayor's mind confused, explaining why the stranger has no memory and is having to rediscover how to use his powers. More concerning, though, is that this theory seems to hint Sauron had not truly died in the Northlands and that his magic was still being worked there for unknown purposes. Hopefully more will be revealed as the Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power continues. The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power releases new episodes at 9 p.m. Pacific Time on Thursdays and at 12 a.m. Eastern Time on Fridays on Prime Video. Join Amazon Prime watch thousands of movies and TV shows anytime start free trial now want more The Rings of Power articles? Check out our essential content below. How many episodes of The Rings of Power there are and when the finale is, The Rings of Power cast and character descriptions everything The Rings of Power leaves out about the War of Wrath, every new Tolkien location in The Rings of Power explained. <laughs>